morning guys welcome to our first project in this series coding with scratch and quickly in this video we're going to be looking at an animation project we'll be calling dancing letters okay dancing letters okay so this is how our final project will look like <music> Hey! Alright, so let's get started. So the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to delete this as sprite. So you use this trash can here to delete your sprite. And then the first thing you're going to be doing after that is to choose a backdrop so you click on this icon don't forget this is the icon to choose a backdrop so i'll click on this and then i'll select this backdrop here circles select it okay so once i do that i'm going to pick my first sprite letter so i'm going to come here and say choose a sprite and then i'll click on choose a sprite and i'll go to letters and then i'll pick the letter b the letter b okay so and also i'll go back and uh, pick the letter o the letter O, B, O, and then I'll pick my last letter, the letter X, the letter X here, pick the letter X. So I'll be using these three letters for our dancing letter projects. So we want to make these letters dance okay i will set all right so i've been choosing our sprites so let's start coding okay so i'll start with the letter b the letter b okay so the first thing i want to do is go to event and bring in this code when green flag clicked okay when green flag clicked okay so the next thing i want to do is i want to change the size of the letter b okay so i'll come to looks under my code block and then i'll pick set size to so you can see the b letter is size 100 can you see it here size 100 so you can see it's 100 percent so instead of making it 100 percent i want to make it 150 and you see that 150 you see it's bigger compared to size 100 and you see that it's bigger okay compared to size 100 okay so i'm going to go to motion block and then i would say go to random position so i want to make the b go to a random position okay so uh once it does that uh then i want it to come to this position Okay, once it go to a random position, I want it to come back to this particular position. Okay, so I'll pick the go to position. So you can see the B is at position X minus 147 and then position Y minus 6. Okay, alright. So the next thing I want to do is... put this at 
a repeat okay so i'll go to the control code block and then i want to make that go to position okay so i want it to repeat 15 times okay so i'll say go to position 15 times did you see that and then let it come back to that this particular position so let's click let's see that see come back to that particular position did you see that all right so the next thing we want to do is we want to make it big and then shrink grow and shrink grow and shrink like that so what are we going to do we'll pick our repeat code and then we'll make it repeat at seven and then we'll go to our move our looks code and then we want to change the size by 10 okay so once we change the size by 10 we also want it to shrink so i'm going to duplicate this did you see that you right click on this repeat code and click duplicate and then drop it here can you see that okay so uh, instead of making this change size by 10 i'll make it the opposite and then say change size by minus 10 okay so let's click and see that did you see that good all right so the next thing we're going to do we want to make it wait before it shrinks okay we want to make it wait before it shrinks so i'm going to bring this weight code right in between the two repeats okay so let's see that okay so it's take longer time so we want to make the time short so i'll make this 0 0.05 so let's see that okay i think that is okay so i'm going to pick the forever code i want to put this in a forever loop just like this yeah so once i click on this let's see okay okay i think that's okay for the b code I mean for the B letter so all right so I'm going to stop this and then we move to the O letter so we want to animate our O letter so we want to go to our event and say when green flag is clicked set or change a size by no set size by 150 don't forget we did the same for b we say set the size to 150 okay then after that we want to make it go to a position from here so i'll just click on my O and then drag A. Can you see that? And then I'll come to motion and say go to that position when I click the green flag. Increase the size by 150 and then go to that position. Okay? Then once it gets to that position, I want it to go right back here into the middle. Like this. Okay? So I'll pick the glide, 
and put it right under it okay all right so the next thing i'm going to do is we want to make it to change we want to give it a color effect okay we want to give it a color effect so i'm going to come to looks and select change color effect and uh, we want to make a change color effect by five okay change color effect by five so you can always pick any color of your choice i mean any any number of your choice but i'm selecting five for mine so, so click on this you can see it's changing the color by five okay so then i'll come to control and put this changing effect changing color effect in the forever loop okay so let's click on that let's see okay oh i like that all right so the next uh we want to pick a uh, x letter or x letter all right so let's code our x later so first thing we're going to do go to events and then select the when green flag is clicked we want to make this to also increase in size set the size by 150 and then make it rotate okay so make it spin make it spin make it spin okay so we want to also put the spin in the forever loop like this yes okay so let's set the position here that's right here okay so let's see all right okay so let's play our project and let's see okay okay can we see that yeah so let's add some sounds so let's add some sound go to sound and then okay let's go to event when green flag is clicked select a sound so i'll come here to this sound tab don't forget we talked about the tab sound in a previous videos so come to choose a sound choose a sound and then i'm going to select loops and uh, under loops i'm going to select let's do that okay so i'll come right back to our code and select play sound so we want to also put the play sound in a forever loop okay all right so let's see how hey all right so let's 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 do something let's So the first thing we're going to do is uh, go to event and let's broadcast the message. Okay. So when green flag is clicked, I'm going to select this, and then I'll say broadcast message one. Okay. And then 
I'll come to the letter O and say when green flag is clicked under the looks block code I'm going to select hide so when I click the green flag hide the letter O and then I'm going to drag this down and say under the control code wait for about two seconds and then go to looks code and then show so when i click the green flag hide letter o then wait for two seconds and then show letter o and then set the size and then every other codes follow did you get that so let's click and let's so let's do the same for okay uh let's say instead of when green flag is clicked let's use uh when i receive message one okay so instead let's see that again so i'm going to come to x and then i'll do the same when green flag is clicked looks i'm going to hide this letter and then i'm going to delete this block and come right here and say when i receive message one control wait for about five seconds then looks and show then other code follow let's see <laughs> Hey!